I'll give a few minutes, uh, another minute or so for people to join in. Sure. And then uh, by Jenna and Kayla, if you guys want to, if you guys want to, you can um, stop your video until we actually get to the panel section. That way you're not like on the screen the whole time and you know, whatever, you can do your thing until we get to the panel section. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. All right, good evening and welcome to the virtual college exploration for Pennsylvania students sponsored by the Pennsylvania Association for College and Mission Counseling and StriveScan. PACAC is a nonprofit organization comprised of more than 1,200 school counselors, college admission counselors, independent education consultants, and other professionals responsible for guiding high school students through the important transition from high school to post-secondary options. Thank you for joining us tonight. A few housekeeping things before we get started. One, you can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many sessions that have happened or will be happening over the next week. Um, so if you'd like to see all of the options available, you can go to the PACAC website at pacac.org. That's P-A-C-A-C dot -A org. And this presentation is being recorded and will be available in about a week at the same website. With all that said, I would now like to turn the presentation over to our presenters from the University of the Sciences in Philadelphia. Great. Thank you, Amy. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen. Okay. All right, so welcome everyone. We are so excited that you're joining us here for our virtual presentation for University of the Sciences. And we are gonna go ahead and get started. Um, as was mentioned, please make sure that you're typing any questions that you have into the Q&A. We have several of our team here who are able to answer those questions for you um, as we're going throughout the presentation. We'll also have time to take some questions at the end as well. Um, okay, so just a little bit about me. My name is Elise Tanarud and I'm an admission counselor at University of the Sciences. I've been with U-Sciences for a little over seven years now, and I primarily work with students who are coming from the Bucks County area um, and also the Lehigh Valley area of Pennsylvania, as well as the western part of the state. So if you're joining us from PA and you're from any of those areas, I would be your admission counselor. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about my colleagues who are also, also admission counselors in just a moment as we go through our presentation. So you may know a little bit about you sciences already, but I'm just gonna kind of give you a brief overview um, before we jump into the academics section. So we are a unique institution. We're focused primarily in the sciences and healthcare professions, as well as the emerging related disciplines. We've been around for almost 200 years. We were founded back in 1821 as Philadelphia College of Pharmacy, the first pharmacy school in North America. So we are coming up on our bicentennial celebration. We're very excited about that. If you are a senior in our room today, then you will have the opportunity to celebrate with us um, when you actually join our campus community in 2021. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about academics. So at U Sciences, we offer a lot of different types of programs. The main two types of programs that we offer are bachelor's degree programs or undergraduate degree programs and professional programs. First, I'm going to talk about the undergraduate programs and then I'll jump into the professional programs. On the screen, you'll see a list of all the bachelor's degree options that we have on campus. You'll notice that some of those programs have an asterisk next to them and that indicates that this is a program that is excellent for pre-med preparation. So if you're the type of student who wants to go on to medical school, dental school, optometry, veterinary, podiatry school, any of those types of institutions, any of those programs with an asterisk are a really great preparation for that. We have a lot of unique programs here as well. Um, we have a data science program, for, which is for students who like computer science, but they wanna be a little bit more outward facing and working with businesses to improve their processes and business decisions. We also have our pharmacology and toxicology program, which is one of the few programs in the nation um, in pharmacology and toxicology as an undergraduate degree program. And this is for students who enjoy studying the positive and negative effects of drugs and medications on the body. So lots of different unique options here in terms of undergraduate study. And I had mentioned our pre-health options. Um, I did just want to, oops, 
go back one slide. Um, I do want to just reiterate that we do have these pre-health options available for students. So again, if you're interested in going to dental school, medical school, optometry, veterinary, podiatry, audiology, any of those types of professional institutions, we offer a pre-health track on campus and you can pursue any of those options with any degree program across the entire university. We have two full-time pre-health advisors who are there to help you from day one all the way through graduation with everything you need to get into these institutions, including preparation for your testing requirements, um, mock interviews, your help with your personal statement writing, and really anything that you need throughout those four years on campus. So I mentioned that we also have some professional programs as well, and these would include our direct entry programs. So these are six year programs that offer a guaranteed spot. These would include the pharmacy farm D degree, occupational therapy, the doctorate of occupational therapy and the doctorate in physical therapy. Now again, each of these is a six year program and students who are accepted into these programs are automatically accepted for the entire six years. They do not have to take any type of testing requirements to progress into the graduate phase, and they have their spots saved for them through the entire portion of the program for all six years. We also offer a physician assistant studies program as well. This is an option for students to complete the undergraduate portion at U Sciences in as little as three years or four years, and then you can apply to our graduate program at U Sciences or to our partner program with Salus University. So we have some other academic opportunities as well. We have a partnership with University of the Arts where students can take classes at UArts for no additional tuition. So if you're the type of student who likes to take fine art classes, theater, music, um, drawing, painting, those types of courses, but you want to major in science, that might be a great option for you to take some elective courses. We also have a university honors program as well. Students are considered for that program immediately when they apply to U Sciences. And we're looking primarily at your GPA and your rigor of the classes that you've taken. We're also looking for a commitment to activities, a commitment to leadership, service, and we're also looking for all those activities that you're involved with. So make sure that you brag about yourself on your common application. And then finally, to wrap up our academic session, section, we offer a very robust option for undergraduate research here at this institution. So we have over 100 laboratories at U Sciences, so tons of opportunities for research, and you can actually start getting involved with research as early as your first year, second semester. You could do research in any academic discipline, and you have opportunities to become published alongside our faculty members. It's a great opportunity for educational and professional development. All right, let's talk a little bit about campus life and what that looks like. So some of you may already know we are located in the city of Philadelphia and specifically in the University City neighborhood. This is a wonderful place to be if you are a student going into the sciences and health cares. Philadelphia and the greater Philadelphia area is truly an epicenter for healthcare and pharmaceutical industries and scientific research. So what that means is that you have plenty of opportunities to get those hands-on experiences that you need to be able to go on to get your first job or to go on to graduate or professional schooling. So that includes shadowing, volunteering, getting field experiences, internships, all those things that you need to go on to your next step. Philadelphia is also a really fun city to be into. There are plenty of historical opportunities, cultural opportunities. If you like to go to concerts, if you like to go to museums or explore different neighborhoods, if you like to eat different types of foods, it's a great place to be for all of that. And the great thing about University City is that it's a student-centric neighborhood. There are about 40,000 college students in the University City area. So it's a very young and vibrant neighborhood for young professionals and college students. And while there's a lot going on in the city, there's also plenty to do on campus as well. We have over 60 clubs and organizations to get involved with, everything from student government to community service. We have Greek life, so fraternity and sorority life, volunteer groups, religious organizations, cultural groups, professional organizations. Let's say you're interested in going to medical school, you might join the pre-med association. So plenty of opportunities to get involved here. You can also start your own club or organization as well with, with a group of your friends. And then we do offer division two athletics as well. If you're the student type of student who wants to play at the D2 level in college, we have offer, we are part of the Central Atlantic Collegiate Conference, the CACC. And being a division two institution, we're able to offer athletic grant funding depending on the need for our teams. If you're interested in playing at the D2 level, I encourage you to check out our website. You, go to, you can go to usciences.edu and click on the athletics tab. You'll see all of our coaches' contact information and how to get involved with connecting with our coaches and also check out some information about each of our teams. 
If you don't want to play at the D2 level, we offer intramural and club sports as well, which is a great opportunity for you to get involved with something new or to try something that continue with something that you may have done in high school. Okay, so in terms of campus housing, um, you may be just making the decision if you want to live on campus or commute from home. If you live within 30 miles of our campus, you have the option to commute, um, but about 84% of our first year students do reside on campus. Campus housing is guaranteed for the first two years of living on campus. And then we do like to talk about our new residence hall, the Living and Learning Commons. This residence hall, which you see in the photo on the top right, houses space for a little over 400 students. My favorite thing about the residence hall is that you have a private bathroom. So you have one roommate. So the two of you will share a private bathroom. Um, I'm definitely very jealous of that residence hall. I did not have anything like that for my freshman year. So this is definitely something that we're very excited to offer for our first year students. Um, the great thing about this building is that it really is a multi-use building. So there are study locations and classroom spaces as well. There's a laundry facility on every floor. And like I said before, it is brand new. So we've only had one class to live there for the full academic year. So I definitely encourage you to check out our Living and Learning Commons. If you haven't already visited campus, you can check that out on an on-campus visit opportunity or on our virtual tour. Okay, so we learned all about the academics that we offer. We also learned about the campus life. Let's talk a little bit about how University of the Sciences invests in your education. And we do that in three ways. The first way we do that is by offering a fixed tuition and fee schedule. And what that means is that you'll know exactly the cost of your degree from day one, no matter if you're in a bachelor's degree program or a six year professional program, you're gonna know exactly what you're paying for your tuition fee from day one. There are no annual tuition and fee increases across any of our programs. You'll see if you're a bachelor's degree student, you're gonna be looking at the top row of the chart here. And these are for students who are starting in fall 2021, so seniors this year. And then if you're in, interested in one of our professional programs, you'll see the undergraduate pre-professional costs laid out on the screen here as well. And then if you are a professional student, you'll see the cost for your graduate professional years on the screen. And again, what we did here is several years ago, we actually lowered our tuition and we fixed that tuition price. So what that means is you know exactly what you're paying from day one, no surprises throughout the course of your education. Oops, okay, so what does this mean for you? Um, what this means is, like I said before, we offer a transparent pricing schedule. You're going to know exactly what you're paying for your degree from day one. There are no surprises throughout that cost of your education for tuition fee. This really offers great peace of mind because you can actually count on the cost being exactly the same from year to year for your program and knowing the full schedule for those for those programs. Most schools out there increase their costs anywhere from three to seven percent per year. So you can imagine this would really amount to thousands of dollars that you didn't initially plan for with all those tuition increases year over year, especially for a six year program. But the fact that we don't offer any annual tuition fee increases, this amounts to thousands of dollars in savings. And it really makes us one of the most affordable institutions in the region for the types of programs that we're offering and the quality of our education. We are very excited to be able to offer this fixed tuition pricing schedule. So the second way that we invest in your education is, oops, going forward here, by offering scholarships and grants. So we offer a number of different types of scholarships and grants. Everyone is considered for a merit scholarship award when he or she applies to the institution. And this year, primarily the scholarship will be based on your GPA. We also offer a number of different other awards as well. For example, our legacy and sibling awards. If you had a parent or grandparent that attended U Sciences, or you have a sibling who's currently attending U Sciences, we have an honors award for those in our honors program, as well as athletic grant funding, depending on the need for our teams. And then the third way that we invest in your education is through need-based aid. And this would be determined by the FAFSA. You may have heard of the FAFSA before. This is the free application for federal student aid. And you can complete that at fafsa.gov or studentaid.gov. Either way, it will take you to the same page. Um, the key word here is free. So you do not wanna pay to have someone submit your FAFSA or to pay to, to submit that for, um, on your behalf. It is free. So you would submit that on your own. And for those of you who are seniors, the FAFSA will be based on your 2019 tax information. The FAFSA opened on October 1st, again, for seniors. Um, if you are a junior or sophomore, the FAFSA will open on October 1st of your senior year. 
And if you would like to submit your FAFSA to Youth Sciences, you'll see the school code on the screen there. You can also type in the name of our institution in the FAFSA um, search and you would be able to bring us up on the FAFSA that way as well. So definitely make sure that you submit your FAFSA as soon as possible after October 1st so that you can be considered for any need-based aid. And this would include aid in the form of federal uh, grants and loans, state grants, if you're from the state of Pennsylvania, which I think all of you are if you're watching this recording, um, and then also university grants as well. Okay, so we talked all about the academics, we talked about the student life, and we talked about how we invest in your education. Now you may be wondering, how do I actually become a student here? So let's talk about that part. And this is personally my favorite part of the presentation. <laughs> so to apply to Youth Sciences, you can submit your application at commonapp.org. There is no application fee, and we operate on a rolling admission policy, which means that as soon as you submit your application materials, we'll begin to review that application and provide a decision as soon as we make it. Um, as I had mentioned before, your merit scholarship is automatically considered um, when you apply to the university. And if you're accepted, you will automatically be considered for that merit scholarship and you'll receive that in your acceptance package. So let's dig into the application a little bit more. When we're looking at your application, we're gonna be looking at a couple of different components. We're gonna be looking at your actual application, which would include some information about yourself and your family, as well as your essay. Any essay prompt is fine for our purposes. We're also gonna be looking at your activities list. So again, like I mentioned before, make sure that you include all the activities that you're involved with. We're also gonna be looking at your transcript. We wanna see the classes that you've taken. We wanna see your GPA that you've earned. And we're also looking for the rigor of those classes. So if you've been able to take honors, AP, maybe IB classes or accelerated classes, we like to see that on your transcript. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about classes in just a moment. We require at least one letter of recommendation. You can submit up to two additional letters if you would like to. Um, traditionally, we like to see letters of recommendation from math or science teachers but at least one should be from a teacher who can speak to your academic strengths. And then finally, if you're a senior this year, we are test optional. So you do not need to submit SAT or ACT scores. Um, if, you submit, if you decide to submit scores, those will only be used to help you in terms of your admission to U Sciences. For those of you who are sophomores and juniors, we have not made the decision yet if we'll continue with test optional, but we will definitely be updating our website as soon as that decision is made. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about what we're looking for on your transcript. So when I look at a transcript, I'm going to be looking for certain classes in the math and sciences. I'm going to be looking for at least two years of algebra, so algebra one and algebra two. I'll look for at least one year of geometry. And then we encourage students to take at least one level, level of higher level mathematics. So that could be a pre-calculus class, calculus, maybe statistics. If you have the choice between taking AP Calc and AP Stat during your senior year, I encourage students to take AP Calculus because it will better prepare you for your first year, at least at U Sciences. And then for science classes, we look for about two to three lab sciences, just depending on the program that you're considering. And these could include something like biology, chemistry, physics, anatomy and physiology, or some combination of those classes. For both math and science, we encourage you to take a math in a science during the senior year if you're able to do that. Okay, in terms of the admission timeline, August 1st is when the common application will open. So it is currently open as if you are a senior, you probably know. Um, we start to review applications usually about late October to early November through the spring. But again, with that rolling admission policy, we encourage you to submit your application sooner than later. A good time to aim for is usually by your Thanksgiving break to have your application and all of your materials into you sciences. And then finally, May 1st is our priority decision deadline. So that's when you would wanna let us know that you'll be attending University of the Sciences. You can certainly let us know before that, but that is our priority deadline. And then during the summer, we're gonna ask for your final high school transcript as well to be sent from your school. Okay, and just a couple of helpful tips before I wrap up my presentation and open it up to our student panel. Um, make sure you narrow down the list of schools before you actually apply to those institutions. Um, it's gonna be a lot easier to make your decision if you only have a couple of schools to choose from um, versus having 20 schools that you were accepted into in the spring. So definitely try to narrow down that list before you actually apply. Make sure that you apply early. That's kind of a theme throughout our presentation. Apply early, get that FAFSA in early. Um, we recommend that you have at least one letter from a math or science teacher, as I mentioned before, but any teacher will be, you know, okay for our admission purposes for the letter of recommendation. 
And then finally, just make sure you connect with your admission counselor. Confirm that all your materials have been received and reach out to us with any questions. We are here to help you. And with being a school like eSciences with a, you know, a small close-knit environment, we're able to actually work one-on-one -on -one with our applicants when they apply. So um, please reach out to us. We are here for you. And I'm going to show a screen with all of my colleagues in just a moment as well. Okay, so we talked all about what we have to offer here at eSciences. Let's just wrap up our presentation, this portion of the presentation, with why we know that eSciences is an excellent destination for your science and healthcare education. So first of all, we don't have any annual tuition fee increases. So we offer a proven value. You're gonna know exactly the cost of your degree for your tuition fee from day one. And this has really made us one of the most affordable schools in the region for the types of programs we offer and the quality of our education. We're in a proven location. As I mentioned before, there are plenty of opportunities for you to get hands-on experiences like research, shadowing, internships, volunteering, all those things that you need to actually go on to your next step, whether that's graduate school, professional schooling, or onto your first job. Our students are proven in the classroom. We have a small, small close-knit community, a seven to one student to faculty ratio. So you're really gonna get to know your faculty members extremely well, and they're gonna get to know you as well. All of our courses are taught by faculty and not graduate assistants. And our faculty truly are experts in their field. So if you're taking an organic chemistry class, you're gonna be taught by an organic chemist. We talked a little bit about the research that we have here. We have over hundred laboratories on campus. So tons of opportunities for you to participate in research as early as your first year, second semester. We're preparing students for some of the top healthcare jobs in the US if healthcare is something you're interested in. So we offer the education to become an occupational therapist, pharmacist, physical therapist, and physician assistant, as well as the preparation to go on to become a dentist, physician, or veterinarian, all of which are in the 25 best healthcare jobs in the US. Our students are ranked number one for social mobility compared to 42 other Philadelphia area institutions and number one in PA, and number two at nearly 600 selected private schools for upward economic mobility. And what that means is that our graduates truly are more successful financially and socially than the generations before them. And finally, we're ranked number one in PA, New Jersey, and Delaware, and top 10 in the nation for return on investment 40 years after enrollment among four-year private institutions. And this is according to a study on return on investment by Georgetown University in 2019. And what this means is that the investment that you're making in your, in your education at eSciences truly pays off over the length of your career. So we're extremely proud of our students. They truly are proven everywhere they go. And you're gonna hear from a couple of our students in just a moment with our student panel as well. Um, so as I mentioned, this is a screen with all of my colleagues. So you'll see me here as well as all of my colleagues who work with first year undergraduate applicants to U-Sciences. Please make sure that you're connecting with your admission counselor. Um, if you have questions or you just wanna connect with your counselor, make sure you look, that, look us up on the website and you can see who your counselor is. Um, so we have some other additional information here as well with some visit links um, related to our virtual tour and then our admission office email address. And we'll make sure to also um, put this in the Q&A as well so that you can see that too. Okay, and then before I transition over to our student panel, just wanted to remind everyone that we do have some upcoming events, both on campus and online. We encourage you to connect with us. We offer daily tours Monday through Friday at 10, 12, and 2. We also offer on camp, we have an on campus open house coming up in just a couple weeks on November 8th, which is a Sunday. We have a virtual open house coming up on December 5th, which is a Saturday. Drake visit dates, which are major specific events, and these are on campus. And then we also have some admission and academic related webinars. You can find all of our visit opportunities online and on campus on the link that you see at the bottom of the screen, usciences.edu slash visit. And we hope to see all of you either in person or on campus very soon. <laughs> okay, so what we'll do is I'm going to stop sharing my screen and I'll pass it over to my colleague, Morgan Kelly, and she's gonna um, handle our uh, student panel. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Elise. Hi, my name is Morgan. I am also one of the undergraduate admissions counselors here, and I'm going to go through um, with a quick Q&A with some of our current students. So I'm actually going to share my screen now. Awesome. So we're just going to go through some quick introductions of our students and then some frequently asked questions. And then also, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to put those in the Q&A box. But to get us started, Jenna, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi everyone, my name is Jenna. Um, I'm a student, I'm a neuroscience student um, from Hocus in Delaware. Um, my major 
academic interests include cell biology, psychology, microbiology, and also some data science. Um, I'm really interested in a lot of different things, uh, obviously. Um, I'm a U2, um, which also means sophomore. Um, I'm involved in a lot of different clubs on campus, um, including neuroscience club, microbiology club, uh, frisbee club, eco club, and art club. So a little mix of academic and fun clubs. Um, my favorite place on campus is D'Angelo Mall, um, which hopefully you'll get to visit all the pretty trees there. Um, on campus, I work as a U Science and U Sciences ambassador, as well as a student researcher, um, doing research in a cell biology neuroscience lab. Um, and my fun fact is, I own thirty-two houseplants, and this is one of them. His name is Jose. Hi, everyone. My name is Kayla. I'm sorry. Um, and I'm from Holland, Pennsylvania, which is. Oh my God. I'm from Holland, Pennsylvania, and I went to Council Rock South High School. My major is neuroscience, and I'm minoring in psychology. Um, I'm a U2, and some different clubs and organizations that I'm a part of is Pre-Med Society, Neuro Club, and I'm beginning to do research in the spring on stroke patients and the neuroplasticity of them recovering. My favorite place to go on campus is the Quad and Starbucks, and I'm a youth scientist C Phages TA, which if you're a biology-based major, you can take that in the when for your biology lab. And I'm also a youth sciences ambassador. Um, I want to go to med school and I can quote most Disney movies because I'm obsessed with them. All right. Um, my name is V Ngo. I am from Philly, so in the Northeast area, if any of you are familiar with it. Uh, my high school was New Foundations Charter High School, just call it NFC, NFCHS. Uh, my major is Med Lab Sciences, and uh, to give a quick explanation as to what it is, uh, we're basically training to do a lot of the lab work in the back, processing uh, blood samples and urine samples, if you never heard of it. Uh, I am in my third year, also known as a junior. Uh, my favorite place on I on campus is IPEX, solely for the fact of like their their simulation labs are so cool. Um, and other than work, other than working as a student ambassador, I'm also working at the writing center as a writing tutor slash consultant. Um, my future goals is to hopefully become um, somebody working underneath the WHO or CDC, either as a field researcher or a technician. And little fun fact, uh, I've started playing Dungeons and Dragons. If you've never heard of that game, you just roll dice and start describing as to what you do with those dice. Awesome, thanks very much, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and go forward with some frequently asked questions and our ambassadors are gonna go ahead and answer those for you. So our first question is, how was the transition from high school to college? And any of you guys can take that question. Uh, I guess I'll just start then. Um, transitioning from high school to college was like, ah, um, mostly because um, like the prospect of college like was felt so big. Uh, but with the help of um, everybody in, in my like community and my family and friends, uh, they they helped make it a whole lot easier. Awesome. Do you have any, does anyone have any tips for new students, like how to be more successful after, you know, going from your first, your last year of high school to your first year of college? I would say the best way is to talk to as many people as possible, like add yourself onto the Snapchat group chats that people make and from people on Facebook, follow people on Instagram, like get to know everyone just because you know, when you want to go like make new friends, you have a group of people that, that you've already like spoken to. So you kind of know a little bit about them. And also more towards the academic side, learning how to manage your time is probably the most valuable skill in college and trying to learn that skill early in like in high school or at the beginning of college will save you so much stress. So start learning now. <laughs> For sure. Awesome. 
So next question is, how do you get involved on campus? It is actually really easy to get involved on campus, especially um, from the student activities fair in the beginning of the fall semester. A few weeks into the fall semester, we have like this big event um, in the quad where like all of the clubs come um, and showcase what they're all about. Um, and so you can just sign up to be on their email list and you can go to any of the events, which is really cool. So that's why that's how I got involved in so many different clubs. <laughs> So how are you able to manage your academics and extracurricular activities while you're a student? I think it just has to be with um, time management. I keep a Google calendar of everything I'm doing throughout the day. So even if it's a class or a lecture, I have it in there for every single day and time slot. So that way I'm really organized in knowing what I need to do and when I need to do it and go from there. Yeah, like Kayla said, definitely being organized is like really, really important. Um, and also just ha like having your priorities straight. So just obviously academics should be your first priority and extracurriculars are wonderful um, and they make you have fun and meet new people. But of course, your academics should always come first. Awesome. I think, oh, sorry. Uh, and to just add like one quick last thing is like definitely in blocking off time to be like I I need to have like a moment to breathe or a moment to like get together with friends it also really helps that balance between academics academics and extracurriculars absolutely awesome okay so ooh, hold on get a lot hold on <laughs> okay so how do you choose your roommate or do you get to choose your roommate when you're living on campus and how do you go about doing that um everyone is put into a ex once you're accepted you're put into a facebook group and people usually write who they are about themselves and you can pick a roommate from there but if you don't find feel comfortable, you can randomly choose to get a roommate so i met my roommate last year on the Facebook group chat and that's how we got matched up. And our colleague, my colleague Morgan actually manages the Facebook group. Um, Morgan, do you have any tips for um, students for actually going and joining the Facebook group? Absolutely, yeah. So if you are a student, um, you will be able to gain access to that Facebook group once you've been accepted. So when you request to join the Facebook group, you're gonna to have to answer a couple of questions. And when those questions pop up, definitely answer the questions. I won't be able to verify if you are in fact an accepted student and accept you into the private group unless I have that information. So if you're finding that it's been a while since anyone's responded to your request, make sure you filled out the questions that pop up when you request to join. So I make sure that I can verify that you are an accepted student and belong in part of that group. So you can start talking to everybody and hopefully meet a future roommate. So next question, and I'm sure all of you guys could probably say something about this. So what is your favorite part about University of the Sciences? I, this is probably the most cheesy answer you could possibly give, but it's definitely, definitely like the friends and community I've gotten to know um, at Youth Sciences here. I mean, we're a small college, you get to know it, you get to know a lot more people, um, like, than you would think eventually. Um, and sort of having that camaraderie of going through like classes together and uh, being able to bond over like your interests, uh, that has always been my favorite part about youth sciences. I also really value like the small, like tight knit community, um, but I find it really amazing um, that here we get to really have connections with our professors like you wouldn't get at a larger university. Um, so like you're, you're not just a number here or like a name, like they actually, they know your face and they know who you are probably more than you think, um, which it's scary. They really do know you. Um, and so uh, the relationships that you can build with them are just really, really valuable and you really can't get that anywhere else. Um, I would say my favorite part is how close everything is together. I can wake up late, well, before obviously virtual stuff. I could wake up 
10 minutes before my class, like an oversleep and run to class and still be there on time. So it's only happened to me one time, but it's nice to know that I have that option. <laughs> Definitely a nice benefit. <laughs> Awesome. And then all of you guys, um, definitely, why did you end up choosing University of the Sciences? Um, I chose U Sciences because um, I really like the neuro program that they offered, and I love Dr. Farber. She is amazing. So she's also my advisor for my pre-med track, and she's amazing. She sold this school to me in like five minutes. <laughs> Um, as yeah, but uh, kind of like piggybacking off of like what Kayla and uh, Jenna said earlier, um, like at U Sciences, it doesn't feel like you're just a number. Like literally, at um, a few hours ago, I actually sat down with um, uh, with one of my uh, professors, and we we just talked like for an hour, not not um, going for anything specific, but it was uh, it was nice knowing that like the faculty here get to know you and you just have such a strong support system here. Yeah, in addition to what I said earlier about, you know, the tight knit community, I was also really attracted to the research opportunities at U Sciences. So I knew that I was really interested in research and just knowing that one, we have a lot of facilities, a lot of different labs, um, but also we, it's really easy compared to other schools to get involved in research just because we're not a huge campus like competing for like a very small number of spots um so all you have to really do is just reach out um reach out to a professor um and they'd be more than happy to show you around the lab and it's just really easy to get involved um so that was one of one of the reasons why i chose these sciences awesome and then finally, any additional questions? So the students in the room, you're more than welcome to pop into the Q&A chat. If you have any questions about anything involving University of the Sciences, whether it's specific to the student experience, maybe the application process, or just any general questions about the university, we are more than happy to go over those questions with you. And while we're waiting for questions to come through, um, to our students in the room, do you have any other like advice that you want to share with anyone or um, anything you feel like we didn't cover that you want to mention to the to any students out there who are considering these sciences? Um, I would say like it's like going like just thinking about high school and college, it's so easy to get caught up in like the thought of like, ah, my grades need to be A plus at all times or else I won't make it. Um, like certainly med school and other professional programs are like grueling, but um, it's important to like have a life and, um, and, you know, we say like we're pretty like heavy academically based, but we also have like opportunities for people to get involved and show that like I do things outside of just being a student. And that's definitely very important, especially here, um, to remember that you need to take care of yourself as a person and your grades are important, but you're more important. Um, and so just keeping that on top of your mind is like taking care of yourself and your mind um, and also having fun and like having a good time. Like, what's the point if you're not enjoying it, right? <laughs> Um, what are some of the things that you guys like to do to like relax or just like maybe, you know, blow off some steam after your classes or during the weekend? Personally, my favorite thing, especially lately, has been walking to Clark Park like almost every day and sitting in the park. Um, we're very fortunate at this part of Philadelphia to have um, such a beautiful park right by us. Um, so I just I love it there watching the dogs. Um, so being outside has really been um, like the best thing for me recently. I started watching The Bachelorette this year. I've never ever done it before. And my one roommate was like, oh, you gotta watch it. And I was like, no. And then I started watching it. And now that's my Tuesday night relaxation. I go on and I see other people's problems and it's <laughs> feel better. I definitely relate to that. <laughs> Great. 
So yeah, and, it, and our participants in the room, if you have any questions, please feel free to type those into the Q&A. Um, we will be here for, we have a couple more minutes in our session. So if you had any questions about the admission process, about the university in general, the student experience, um, any questions for Morgan and I, or for our students, feel free to type those in the Q&A and we are happy to answer those for you. <laughs> I can talk about the CPages program too. For... Yeah, that'd be great, Kayla. Okay, so if you're looking into taking a biological science, so bio, neuro, kind of like that branch, you can um, apply, well, sign up more so to be a part of the CPages program. And that basically is a different lab instead of your normal intro to bio lab that you have an opportunity to take. And it's basically, you're kind of doing your own little experiment, which is nice to get a practice on research. And then you have like TAs and your professor kind of like guiding you through it to make sure you're doing it correctly. And you are able to like isolate a phage, which is a virus. And then at the end of the semester, you have the opportunity to get it sent off to the University of Pittsburgh so it can get its um, genome sequenced. So there's like a whole competition with it. So I won last year and my genome got sent awesome. off. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's, that's great, Kayla. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. And then in the spring, we get to annotate different genomes and try and discover what their function of their genome is. That way, this will help like the antibiotic issue because so many different um, issues with the antibiotics is that bacteria is becoming resistant to them. So by doing this, it allows it to be used as medicine in a way of the phage will go in and like destroy the bacteria and then it kind of gets rid of the issues. That's great. And Kayla, can you tell everyone what, tell everyone about the sample that you brought in? That's to me, that's the most interesting part. <laughs> so my sample was from my, like, it's a bag of dirt. Like you're required, they send you an email the first week of, or the week before you move in, you're like, hi guys, please bring in a bag of dirt. Uh, like. Make sure it's like you record it's the temperature it was outside, like if it's like what the conditions were and put it in the freezer until you come. So I did and I wasn't able to find anything for my dirt. So then I went out and got a sample from the quad and I was able to find one from there. So if you can't find one, you can like adopt one or go and get a new sample. So that's what I did and I was able to find one. So it was good. Awesome. Thanks, Kayla. And for those interested in the CPages program, um, as Kayla mentioned, this is for students in our biological science program. So this would be in place of your first year biology, general biology lab. So for students in biology, biomedical sciences, microbiology, uh, medical laboratory science and environmental science, as well as our neuroscience program. Awesome. So we are just about at uh, the end of our session. So if there are any last questions, um, please feel free to type those in the Q&A. Um, as was mentioned earlier, this session is recorded. So if you ever want to go back and review the information again, um, you are you would be definitely welcome to do, to do that. And um, again, if you have any questions, please make sure that you're reaching out to us. We are happy to connect you and we hope to see you um, either virtually or on campus very soon. <laughs> Great, thank you all for such a wonderful presentation. Um, so thank you uh, to those who attended. When you close out of this window, you will receive a very quick four question survey. If you would take a minute to fill that out, we would appreciate any feedback we can get. Again, there are still more sessions coming up. You can see them at www.pacac.org. That's P-A-C-A-C.org. And that's also where you'll find the recording that Elise just mentioned. The recording of this session will be up in probably about a week. So thank you very much for joining us. Thank you folks from University of Sciences for sharing about your amazing program. Thanks, and Amy. <laughs> have a great night. You too. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for coming.